girls. It's me, Grandma Shell. I'm going to read to you a special book today. It's Danny and the Dinosaur by Sid Hoff. And I think you're going to like it. Have you ever read this book? It's really fun. It's for kids. It's a beginner, beginner book, but it's a really fun book. And I think that you'll like it. Remember, I like to read for my kids, for my sons and my daughters, my grandkids, my nieces, my nephews, and for you, whoever you are. I love to read to children, and I hope that you like this book that I'm going to read for you today. I sit here in my rocking chair all over different places in my house so that you can feel comfortable like you know where you're at. And the more I read, the more you'll get to know me. If you like these stories, make sure that you give it a thumbs up. There's a little button below that you can click that has a thumbs up to say you liked this video. You can also click subscribe here at the bottom, especially if you want to hear more. But I like to read 10 books a week to you. And I read them one at a time so that you can find your favorite book and have it read to you. Now let's get on with the story. What do you say? Danny and the Dinosaur by Sid Hoff. The pictures are also by Sid Hoff. Isn't that cool? He can write a book and he can draw the pictures for it. These are some fun ones. I used to read these when I was a kid. One day, Danny went to the museum. He wanted to see what was inside. He saw Indians. He saw bears. He saw Eskimos. He saw guns, and he saw swords, and he saw... There's the bears and the Eskimos and the Indians and the swords and the guns. He saw dinosaurs. Danny loved dinosaurs. He wished he had one. I'm sorry, they are not real, said Danny. It would be nice to play with the dinosaur. And I think it would be nice to play with you, said a voice. Can you, said Danny. See, he heard a voice over here. And the dinosaur wanted to play. You, yes, said the dinosaur. Oh, good, said Danny. What can we do? I can take you for a ride, said the dinosaur. So he put his head down so Danny could get on his neck, on him. See, he's climbing up his neck. Let's go, said Danny. A policeman stared at them. He had never seen a dinosaur stop for a red light. <laughs> he's all the way up on his neck and there's the red light. And look at the policeman. He has to look way high up to see the top of the dinosaur. The dinosaur was so tall that Danny had to hold up the ropes for him. Look out, said Danny. said a dog. He thinks you are a car, said Danny. Go away, dog. We are not a car. It can make a, I can make a noise like cars, said the dinosaur. Honk, honk, honk. <laughs> what big rock, said the dinosaur. They are not rocks, said Danny. They are buildings. I love to climb, said the dinosaur. Down, boy, said Danny. He was going to climb on the buildings. Is that a good idea? No way. He's too big. Right? What would happen if he climbs on the buildings? He would crush them. Here's the next picture. The dinosaur had to be very careful not to knock over the houses or stores with his very long tail. Some people were waiting for a bus. They rode on the dinosaur's tail instead the dinosaur was going just as fast as the bus, probably, right? All who want to cross the street may walk on my back, said the dinosaur. He was like a bridge. It's very nice of you to help me with my bundles, said a lady. That's when he's like a bridge and all the people could cross on his back. Wouldn't that be so cool? And then he helped that lady cross the street with her packages. He's so nice. Danny and the dinosaur went all over town and had lots of fun. It's good to take an hour or two off after a hundred million years, <laughs> said the dinosaur. 
They even looked at the ball game. Hit the ball, said Danny. Hit a home run, said the dinosaur. I didn't show you that picture. I'll turn it back. Here you go. That's the baseball game where they're going to hit the ball. I wish we had a boat, said Danny. Who needs a boat? I can swim, said the dinosaur. Toot, toot, went the boats. Toot, toot, went Danny and the dinosaur. There they are on the boat going for a ride on a dinosaur. Wouldn't that be so cool to ride on a dinosaur? Oh, what lovely green grass, said the dinosaur. I haven't eaten any of that for a very long time. Wait, said Danny. See what it says. Please keep off. They both had ice cream instead. See, there's the sign, please keep off. So they had ice cream instead. Does the ice cream man come by your house? It's really fun when he does. Let's go to the zoo and see animals, said Danny. Everybody came running to see the dinosaur. Nobody stayed to see the lions. Nobody stayed to see the elephants. I don't know why. I would like to see the lions, wouldn't you? And the elephants? I love elephants. Wouldn't you want to see the elephants? Nobody stayed to see the monkeys. I don't know why not. I love monkeys. I have 12 of them. <laughs> and nobody stayed to see the seals, giraffes, or hippos either. See? Please go away so the animals... Please go away so the animals will get looked at, said the zoo man. Let's find my friends, said Danny. Very well, said the dinosaur. So they said because there was a, a dinosaur around, no one wanted to see the zoo animals. So the man at the zoo asked the dinosaur to go away so people would want to come to the zoo and look at the animals. Because otherwise they're going to be lonely. There they are, said Danny. Why, it's Danny riding on a dinosaur, said a child. Maybe he'll give us a ride. May we have a ride, asked the children. I'd be delighted, said the dinosaur. Hold on tight, said Danny. See all those kids, they saw him and he's giving them a ride. Wouldn't that be so fun? Yeah, I would. Around and around the block ran the dinosaur. Faster and faster and faster. This is better than a merry-go-round, said the children said. Yeah, a dinosaur merry-go-round would be awesome, right? <laughs> the dinosaur was out of breath. Teach him tricks, said the children. Danny taught the dinosaur how to shake hands. Can you roll over on your back, asked the children. Like a dog, right? Maybe he's kind of like a dog doing tricks. He's shaking hands and he was tired. Oh, that's easy, said the dinosaur. He's smart, said Danny, patting the dinosaur. Let's play hide and seek, said the kids. How do you play it, said the dinosaur. We hide and you try to find us, said Danny. Do you see how he's laying on his back and rolling around? Playing hide and seek. Have you played hide and seek? where one person hides and then someone tries to find them? Yeah, that's a fun game, isn't it? The dinosaur covered his eyes. All the children ran to hide. One, two, three, and he was counting. The dinosaur looked and looked, but he couldn't find the children. I give up, he said. Now it was the dinosaur's turn to hide, and the children covered their eyes. The dinosaur hid behind a house. The children found him. He hid behind a sign. The children found him. The sign said, brush your teeth every day. Do you brush your teeth every day? You should. For two minutes with a toothbrush, just do circles. Make sure you get the top teeth and the bottom teeth on the front and inside in here. And sometimes you could brush your tongue and you have gums down here and you could brush your gums. That's a good toothbrush review right there. Brush a, brush a, brush a. 
Instead of brushing hard back and forth, brush in circles. That's better for your teeth and your gums. I know because I used to work at a dental office. And my husband's dad is a dentist, so I know. He hid behind a big gas tank. The children found him. They found him again and again and again because he was so big he probably couldn't hide very well. I guess there's no place for me to hide, said the dinosaur. Let's make believe we can't find him, Danny said. Because he was just thinking he couldn't find anywhere to hide. That's so sad. Where can he be? Where, oh, where is that dinosaur? Where did he go? We give up, said the kids. Here I am, said the dinosaur. Look, that's where he was hiding, right there. Where can he be? They were playing with him, weren't they? They were tricking him. But then they found him and he came out. Here I am. This, the dinosaur wins, said the kids. We couldn't find him. He fooled us. Hurrah for the dinosaur, the children cried. Hooray, hooray. Can you say hooray and cheer? Cheering is fun. It got late and the other children left. Danny and the dinosaur were alone. Well, goodbye, Danny, said the dinosaur. Can't you come and stay with me, said Danny. We could have fun. No, said the dinosaur. I've had a good time. The best I've had in a hundred million years. But now I must get back to the museum. They need me there. Oh, said Danny. Well, goodbye. He's saying goodbye. Isn't that sad? Saying goodbye is not always fun. Danny watched until the long tail was out of sight. Then he went home alone. Because it wasn't dark yet. We should always be in when it's dark. When it's getting dark, we should make sure we're on our way home so that we can be home when it's dark. Oh well, thought Danny. We don't have room for a pet that size anyways. But we did have a wonderful day. It's so important to think about positive things and even when things don't always turn out right, it's good to think of the happy time you had so you can remember how fun it was. I hope you liked this story. Make sure you click the like button and subscribe if you want to hear more and I'll keep reading. Take care. Have a great day. Bye-bye.